So this little hitch plate here leaves a, a little bit to be desired. So if I'm in a tight turn, this is my limit of travel. Right here before I'm smashing, smacking into uh, the hitch itself against this receiver plate. So I had this buddy of mine and I think he may have bent these on press brake. This may have been a flat piece of steel. Uh, it could have been angle iron and he simply took the plasma torch. I could have done that here. I don't have an actual steel cutting torch. I've got a map gas torch and a propane torch. Um, great for heating enough to bend, great for soldering, but not an acetylene, true acetylene torch where I could cut that. Uh, so the other choice would be a, a cutoff wheel on a grinder or a pneumatic cutoff tool. But that's pretty thick and that would take me forever and I'd end up with this jagged edge. So I asked him if he could cut me a couple pieces of plate and by rounding that out, that's going to give me a whole lot more uh, ability to turn sharp with this without running in there. So I've got my holes. All I need to do is match them up. And I really think um, just because I don't want it to look janky and trashy and tacky, I'm probably going to primer and paint these just some rattle can stuff. Rest only in professional. The warnings just say your children's children will be born with three heads and their children may have extra testicles, so it's nasty stuff. Yeah, we need extra ventilation. I'm just going to go one thick coat. I don't really want to have to come back out here.